So I get this email, right? Yeah. And he's saying he wants me to write the lyrics of my song out on a bit of paper so he can get it tattooed on his arm. Has he seen your handwriting? The needle tears a hole, the old familiar sting. Try to kill it all away, but I remember everything. Mike's handwriting has always been something of a joke. The idea that someone would want his chirography on their body forever makes all of Mike's friends laugh from the belly. This month has seen the DOT dress up in funny clothes for the filming of the video to You Never Asked. As well as rummaging the local cancer research charity shop, they also raided a local drama school for props. They knew they wanted a strong theme for this video, so they investigated many ideas. The UK tour begins in only a few weeks, but they've had little time to prepare as there has been so much to do creatively to present their first major work. For now, rehearsals have to be stolen moments between lessons on period style and retro machine gunning. Maybe Mike's writing was destined to be on skin. Maybe he's just been misunderstood on paper. Rob has been studying himself and the human form very much this month, as he graduates slowly through the teachings of personal fitness instruction. While Mike experienced London Fashion Week, you might notice him starting to look a bit more on trend. In fact, they are both more healthy and beautiful. The wheels of the promotional machine are starting to turn and after the ideas and thinking comes an awful lot of talking and singing. Their ideas and thoughts become visual motifs that you aren't even aware of, like adverts on billboards. Our words are the weapons with which we wound. I don't, I don't think jail really happens like it does in the films, you know. I know this guy. I can't mention any names. He used to write to my brother, who my brother's friend. He used to write to my brother. And he, and he got done for holding up a post office with a, a fucking, I think it was like a, a pellet gun. It was a bit of a gag, a bit of a dare. As a dare. He held up a post office as a dare. Yeah, because mental, one day, he's got his face slashed up. Razor blades and his fucking shoes and that. You know, you'd probably go to jail if you got caught with that gun. In jail, it's important to look like you work out. Yeah. Like, really look like you work out. Yeah. Like Craig David. Yeah, I mean, no one would fuck with Craig David in jail. Win the crowd table. Selector.